Welcome to our latest installment in my coverage talking about gases and all kinds of crazy gaseous calculations. Hmm, I think I gassed. Anyway, in a previous video, I introduced you to Dalton's Law of Partial Pressures, and I explained that if you apply that knowledge to the ideal gas law, you can actually calculate the individual pressure of multiple gases inside a single system. We can now combine that idea embodied in these three equations with this equation to make a new equation shown here. If I want to calculate a total pressure of the system, all I have to do is take the individual number of moles of however many gases are inside that system and multiply them by RT divided by V. So this equation implies that if temperature and volume are kept constant for a system, then the system's total pressure is determined completely by the number of gas moles in it. So what does that mean? Well, if you have three gases, for instance, X, Y, and Z, then their individual pressures are proportional to their individual molar percentages. OK, so I know you're probably a little lost right now, so let me try to explain this a little bit better by using an example problem. Let's pretend that we have a mixture of gases containing 12 moles of X, 10 moles of Y, and 5 moles of Z. If our system's total pressure is 24 atmospheres, what is the partial pressure of each gas? Answer. In this system, the total number of moles is 12 plus 10 plus 5 equals 27 moles. So the following are the individual percentages that each gas's number of moles contributes to the system. X has 12 total moles of gas. If I divide that by the total, X is contributing 0.44 or 44% of the total pressure to the system. By analogy, Y is contributing 37% and Z is contributing 19%. These percentages are called molar percentages or mole fractions. So this means that 44% of the total pressure in the system comes from X, 37 from Y, and 19 from Z. So what is the partial pressure of each gas? Well, it's this, 0.44 multiplied by the total number of atmospheres in the system, 24, gives me 10.56 atmospheres of pressure for X. By analogy, I've got 8.88 atmospheres for Y and 4.56 atmospheres of Z. Got it? Good. Let's go to a problem. A mixture of gases contains 0.75 moles of nitrogen, 0.30 moles of O2, and 0.15 moles of CO2. If the total pressure of the mixture is 2.15 atmospheres, then what is the partial pressure of each component? I invite you to pause the video now and attempt this on your own. You can then hit play and watch me do it for you. So here I've been given the individual number of moles, which I have in this column labeled N, for these three gases in a mixture. It tells us that the total pressure of all of these gases in this chamber is equal to 2.15 atmospheres, I believe. And then it asks us to use this information to calculate the individual pressures of each gas. As we've learned before, using Dalton's law, we know that the uh, number of moles of each gas, or mole percentage, is proportional to the number of individual pressures for each gas. So what I need to do then is to determine the total number of moles of all of the gases together. 0.75 for the nitrogen added together with 0.3 for the oxygen and 0.15 for the CO2. When I add all of those together, I determine that the total number of moles of all gases combined is 1.2. Now if I take each one of these and divide it by 1.2, I can get the total percentage or mole fraction for each one of these gases. 0.75 divided by 1.2 is 0.625, which means that 62.5% of all of the moles of gases in that chamber are nitrogen. By analogy, we can determine that oxygen's mole fraction is 0.25, and carbon dioxide's mole fraction is equal to uh, 0.125. Now these are the mole fractions or mole percentages uh, of the total number of moles for each individual gas. To determine what pressure each of these is going to exert on the system, all I have to do is take these numbers and multiply it by the total pressure. So uh, nitrogen is exerting 1.34 atmospheres on the total system. You can hopefully see what I'm doing. I'm taking the mole fraction, multiplying it by the original total pressure, which is 2.15 atmospheres. Oxygen is exhibiting or is, is exerting 0.54 atmospheres of total pressure. And carbon dioxide is exerting 0.269 atmospheres of total pressure on this system. 